The histogram and tonal value preview in live view are powerful features of the OM system OM1. With those, setting the exposure and avoiding clipped shadows or highlights is a breeze. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. In this in-depth guide, I will show how to configure Live View to best match the image data of the OM system OM1's 12-bit RAW files. And I will also illustrate some limitations of the exposure simulation we have to be aware of. Let's get started. In standard live view mode, the OM1 provides a preview of basically three parameters. First, the selected picture mode or art filter. Second, the exposure setting, meaning the tonal values. And third, the white balance. Sounds good, but even if the camera is set to record RAW only, the OM1 will not provide a preview of the 12-bit RAW file with all the image data, but a preview of the 8-bit JPEG. So in order to better approximate the image data recorded in the RAW file, we have to set up what I like to call a flat preview. And here is how to do that. Select picture mode muted and set contrast to minus two. These settings ensure that the wider tonal range of the RAW file is better represented in live view. Still, the RAW file has more dynamic range than the muted preview therefore giving us even some headroom to work with. The next setting we have to adjust is white balance, as it impacts what we see in live view. Ideally, we choose the correct value for the corresponding scene, meaning the white balance that we will choose in post-processing. When in doubt, pick white balance auto, as this usually provides a very balanced preview. In addition to simulating the raw tonal range in live view with our flat preview, the OM system OM1 can display clipping warnings and a live view histogram. Here is how to enable them. The upper and lower warning thresholds can be configured under histogram settings. I recommend setting the shadow limit to zero and the highlight limit to 255. So when in live view, the OM1 will now display areas with tonal values of zero in blue and areas with tonal values of 255 in orange, effectively providing a clipping warning. These values are of course based on the simulated 8-bit JPEG, not the 12-bit RAW file. When combined with the flat preview and clipping warning, the live view histogram can provide an additional layer of information to judge the exposure of a scene. Let's examine how to read the histogram. The histogram consists of tonal values distributed from left to right and color codes. The shadow values are on the left and blue indicates tonal values of zero. The highlight values are on the right with orange indicating tonal values of 255. There are also some green areas and those show the current spot meter reading. So when spot metering is disabled and if you are for example in digital ESP metering mode, green will also show because green then refers to the center 2% of the image frame. So spot metering is kinda always on, at least in the histogram. Let's start with some recommendations. I personally like to configure one information display of my OM1 to show both the histogram and the highlight and shadow warning. With this information, the exposure can be set reliably under most circumstances. I consider having one exposure-centric information display preferable over having these indicators in my regular shooting display. I find that a bit distracting, to be honest. Now let's talk about some limitations. 
It is important to note that the OM1 can automatically adapt the exposure simulation slightly to maintain functionality. For example, when using the spot meter in manual mode with an over or underexposed scene. This also affects the clipping warning and histogram as both are generated based on the preview in the viewfinder. The most accurate and reliable way to set the exposure independent of the live view is therefore the camera's internal exposure meter or an external exposure meter. Also, Live view does not simulate exposure compensation values exceeding plus minus 3 EV, although the camera accepts exposure compensation values up to plus minus 5 EV. This makes sense, as you would not see anything on the screen with these extreme values applied, at least in most situations. For more information on the OM system OM1's dynamic range and exposure metering system, I'd like to recommend my in-depth video on these topics. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.